Hello everyone, it's Kudianko here for this week's trailer analyze. So let's watch the trailer first and get into it later. But for the people that who watch it already, I'll leave a timestamp underneath and you can get into the action straight away. Team Ikari! Oi, dang. ハリデ、オーバーイ、ダンスのスタイル。ウェル、ジョン。いやあ、ああいうのは乗りと勢いが必要でしょう。コアスティル。そこは、ヘビーメタルスナップ。インスパイアステージ。ウォー、インフルエ
Then as soon as he uh, cancelled into this super year, the red aura actually is gone. So does that mean that um, just one EX move? Or maybe like um, after you do the EX move and then it doesn't have enough time for it to do another EX move to get into a level 2 super? It's kind of hard to tell. Got to wait till the game in, uh, is out, then we can see. Or maybe like they can show us uh, a bit more on the uh, UI so that we can see how the meter drain is going to be like. I guess here kind of show that the jump C doesn't hit across up like that. Just have a quick thought over this move. So it depends on how much meter going to cause on quick max and. That uh, special move have multiple hits, so it will be quite easy to hit confirm into super cancel, lead to bigger damage. Here kind of looks like a safe jump to me, but then like <laughs> jump in and do nothing. Well, just to show off the guard attack. <laughs> now you got one successful guard attack. And then get a full ground combo. C for a B. Into the command grab. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't super cancel it. I do wonder who is actually playing in this trailer because the things that they do doesn't really represent what a normal player is usually going to do. It feels kind of forced. Anyway, we got another quick max combo. So one EX move, another EX move. So they say actually it worked quite like 14 and immediately into super. But this is level 1. Oh come on SNK, show me the UI soon man. I really want to understand like how the meter is gonna work. But based on like when the super start up and then his uh, red aura actually gone. So I would assume that Maximo is gonna give you a free EX move. But it's not going to give you a max super from it. In a way which is a kind of a damage scaling. Which I'm totally happy with it. Because that it gives you the option to able to like a uh, quick max off button. But at the same time, um, it reduces the damage. So the people that who doesn't like quick max combo can be a bit more happier. Because they get less damage. Salute! So that seems to be it about for this week and I'm actually quite happy uh, to see what they do for the quick max situation. So compared to raw max that they show in the previous trailer um, which you get a blue aura and then quick max you get a red aura. So I guess the difference is going to be like raw max is going to be uh, using one bar to activate and it will give you a free super so you can do like level 1 super, level 2 super into climax and the uh, quick max is gonna be maybe 2 bar to activate so you get 2 EX move but no free super after that which is actually still okay because that uh, you get to able to cancel from far button for a punish and get 2 free EX move and still able to lead to certain damage but without um, being really high damage like in 14 which is a might be a quite a good balance between for the people that who like 14 and for the people that who don't like 14 as well uh, based on the quick max system so you get like yeah you're still able to have the option to do uh, do stuff but at the same time for the people who doesn't like it and then uh, at least there, there's a balance uh, on the damage wise so it keeps both party happy, I reckon. So yeah, I'm 
actually quite looking forward to it. That actually makes me happy since I'm a 14 player. So I'm quite happy to able to have more options in the game, which is good. So now that Ikari team is actually out of the way, and then I do wonder who they're going to bring in for next week. But anyway, that's it about for this week. Well, thanks for watching again, and I hope to see you next week. See ya!